Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back, and I done did it again with another great video. So today we're gonna talk about are you a developer or an imposter? Dun dun dun. So let's get started. Okay, so a lot of you guys probably asking yourself, man, am I really a developer? Do I know what I'm doing? You know, like, hey man, am I ready to even get hired? Is it me or is it something else that I'm not getting calls back? You know, like there's a lot of things that go through your mind as a junior developer and you're just getting into the business. Okay. Now I've been seeing this, uh, you know, this title imposter syndrome. And to be honest with you by now, it's like clickbait. It's like literally it's something that everybody goes through. So everybody writes about it and everybody talks about it in every single year somebody does a new video about it which is the same thing that they did last year or they're writing about something that somebody just wrote the same day okay so it's like a topic that everybody talks about okay and it's because everybody goes through it and even when you are a senior developer right a guy who's been here for more than five years have worked in all type of projects you still get those little butterflies in your stomach once you join a new team or once you join a new company and you're like, man, you know, I don't know what they're going to throw at me. Are they going to throw at me a, a new language? Uh, they're going to throw at me a new project that I've never done before. You know, I'm a back end guy. Now I got to do the front end. I'm a front end guy. And now I got to do the back end. You know, there's a lot of things that go through your mind. But I want to be honest with you. Everybody goes through it. I want you to understand that this is a feeling that you're always going to have okay it's called anxiety it's called anxious being anxious an anxious person right not knowing what's gonna happen you know it's like what's going on in the unknown like you can't know everything you can't know what's gonna happen in the future you can't know if you're really uh the best developer or whatever you know the different things that people put it on their shoulders right like you see guys like dan abramoff you see guys like dhh and you see guys that create programming languages uh, frameworks and this and that and you know you might ask yourself like man am i good enough am i as good as them but it's not really about are you as good as them are you happy right do you love to code right do you enjoy this if you don't enjoy it, this is not the place for you, okay, automatically. But if you enjoy this, go in with an open mind. Go in with an open mind and just, you know, do your best. It's not about who's the best developer, who's the guy that can code a for loop in less than half a second. Like, it's not about that, right? It's about who actually can solve a problem, okay? Now, you might say, I'm trying to remember everything under the sun. You can't remember everything under the sun, okay? You can't remember every single syntax. You can't remember how to solve every single algorithm. You can't remember how to do everything every single time. But you have the tools there. You have Google. You have Stack Overflow, GitHub. You have documentation. You know, as long as you're able to find a solution to any problem that they throw at you, you're going to be fine. And even if you can't find a solution, we are humans. We're not supposed to be perfect, right? Like I could be the best guy in JavaScript. That doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be the best guy at Java, right? I could be the best guy at the front end. I'm not supposed to be the best guy at the back end. It could happen, right? These guys that are talented enough to be able to do both of them. But it doesn't mean that just because you're not as good as, you know, another guy who does the back end doesn't mean that now you got to put that pressure on yourself right okay that's something that we all do we all try to do our best and we all try to be the best out here and this field is very competitive in the sense of like everybody wants to get the kudos and everybody wants to get the github stars and and this this and that see me what i do nowadays is i kind of left all of that behind right now i give myself my re my own reward right everybody here knows me i basically i work for myself i teach on codingphase.com uh how to code how to get a job how to make passive income with your skills that you already know so for me now is all about 
you know, finishing a project, getting a project and launching it, putting it into production. That's my reward, right? I'm not looking into becoming the number one developer. You know, this is not Pokemon. We're not trying to catch them all. You know what I mean? Like, this is not what we're trying to do. So, in reality, I'm reading this this article, and there's a lot of stuff that uh, this girl said that's pretty good, and, and a lot of things that people go through. You know, and I'm like, man, it's crazy that I've been hearing about imposter syndrome since literally like 2011, since I started in this thing. We what? We about to be in 2019 and like people are still talking about this. OK, because people still going through it. And to be honest with you, man, all you have to think about is, hey, man, I'm doing the best that I can. And it is what it is. Put that word right there. Put those words right there in your mind. It is what it is. Okay? You can only do the best that you can. You're not a robot. You're not supposed to be perfect. You are a human being. Okay? There's things that you're going to be good at and there's things that you're going to be bad at. Okay? And it's fine. All right? There's always room for improvement, but that doesn't mean that it has to be perfect every single time. So take that pressure off your mind. Take the pressure off man, am I going to be good enough as everybody in the team? Like, bro, take that out of your mind. Don't think about that. Think about, hey, man, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing my work. And I actually love this. I'm doing this for the love and I'm doing this for bread, right? For the bag, the money, the moolah, whatever you're doing it for, right? So <laughs> just think about that, right? Stop thinking about what others might think. Stop thinking about uh, you know, that self doubt that you might have in the back of your mind saying, are you really a developer or are you just a guy that follows tutorials? And it's like, well, if you could actually build things on your own, then you are a developer. Can you solve problems? Yes, you are a developer. Okay. So keep that in mind. All right, guys. So anyways, man, my name is Joe Santos Garcia. You already know me from codingphase.com. If you guys don't know what codingphase.com, just literally go to my website, codingphase.com. You come here, you click on the courses, okay? And I have a subscription base and I have, uh, basically you can buy your own courses. It's up to you how you wanna do it, okay? Some people might say, I just want one course, Joe. I know everything else, I just want one course. So yeah, man, go visit codingface.com. And if you enjoy this type of videos, please guys, click on the notification bell, subscribe, right? And then from there, just leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Have you ever felt imposter syndrome? You know, like, hey, everybody goes through it, but how do you get over it, okay? I will see you guys later. It's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com.